Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be sharing how to create a math spiral review in Google Forms within Google Classroom. So keep watching on how to do that. Okay, so we're back in the classroom. Um, go ahead and you're going to be, if you've seen my other videos, you've noticed that we've already created assignments. Well, we're going to try creating a math spiral review using the quiz feature in Create. So quiz assignment. We are going to be creating a type of spiral review you can do maybe a few times a week. And here I'm going to have it go to the entire class. Um, and I'm going to have a due date. And you can possibly do it uh, all five spiral reviews in a week due on one day or every single one of them due the day of. However you'd like to arrange that. So go ahead and choose your topic, math. And now you're ready to fill in the title. Um, I'm going to title mine either Spiral or Math Review, whatever my students are familiar with, and Day 1 or the date. Something to be able to differentiate the different assignments. Here you're going to be writing the instructions, whatever you have for the students. And then you can create multiple things in quiz assignment, but today we're going to be focusing on Google Forms and it's already automatically uploaded. So go ahead and click that. And we're going to be switching the titles to what um, you had placed in the quiz assignment. So math review, I believe, day one, and then you can change that here as well. And we're going to start with our very first question. And I always have my students write in their name, their first and last name, because the Google Classroom account is linked to their email and their, their name doesn't show up in the quizzes. That was very frustrating, so I, I make sure that all of my quizzes have their names in it. And click the toggle for required so they cannot turn in this assignment without any of the questions being answered. So go ahead and click short answer and this is where you put in your question. Here I'm writing what's the place value of 2 in the number 2528 and I'm gonna have it in short answer form so my students can type in their correct answer and I will also make sure to remove that and make sure that it is a required and click the plus sign to add another question. I'm going to go ahead and put in my next question. I'm going to be doing following the same steps as I did with the very first question, but I'm going to be putting different questions in there. So, And depending on your standard or your grade, you're going to be figuring out which questions to put in there that are a um, easier and more like review, and then some of them are going to be more difficult questions for your students to be able to work through but the goal is that when you're doing spiral review the students are able to just follow up on their skills on a day-to-day -day basis and grow in their skills for math. I'm going to go ahead and speed through the rest of these questions but make sure that you hit required for all of the questions that you've put on there. And now I want to actually show you how to create a question with multiple choice. I'm going to be putting in the question fill in the blank. 357 is blank, then, um, let's see, 850. So I want the students to either answer greater than, equal than, or less than. And so I'm going to click multiple choice, and for option one, I'm going to write equal to, less than, and greater than. And so make that required. And at that point, at this point, I think I'm pretty much done with this quiz. I'm going to go ahead and click responses. And this is the Excel sheet that uh, collects all the data when the students respond. But click select response destination. And I want this is going to automatically be created in my folder in my drive. So I'm going to title it spiral, spiral review. And then, um, so everything is all set. And you can now... Uh, look at the questions and make sure you've got it correct uh, and the, change the colors if you wish. I like the blues, I like the greens, they're more calming, but choose whatever you'd like. You can even change or upload a photo that matches your quiz. I'm going to go ahead and click the little water beads. 
Click the gear button and we're going to look at the settings. Um, go ahead and click the presentation, to the quizzes, and in the quizzes make sure to make this a quiz is toggled on. And make sure that the, the grades are released immediately after submission and those three are checked off. So go ahead and save that. And your quiz looks good. You can exit out and then click on the eye so that you can see what the students are able to see on their end. And it looks good. We're going to exit out of that. And now we're going to focus on the answer key. So go ahead and click the a question and click answer key. This is where you could choose how many points you want for that specific question. I'm going to put 10 points. And then where it says add a correct answer is where I'm going to add the correct answer. And you can check off. If there are multiple answers, you can possibly put more in, but you can um, check off, mark all other answers incorrect. The only tricky thing is with this is if students um, misspell a word, it will count it as incorrect. So you can either provide an answer key or not, but that is your choice. And you can do the same for all the rest of the, the questions. Once you do that, I want you to go back to this the quiz page and assign the quiz. And now, um, if you have one spiral review, it's going to be easier to do many more spiral reviews. So you have it right there under the math topic. Go ahead, create quiz assignment. And we're going to add in the title and the instructions. The same as last one. I believe I put spiral review, but I can't remember. Um, so go ahead and put the instructions and make sure the topic and the due dates are all set out for you. Okay, with that done, go ahead and click blank quiz and we're gonna create day two of our spiral review. Um, change the titles in those, both, in those two sections to either math review or spiral review, however you called it, and make sure you write day two or the date. And instead of writing the questions, go ahead and click that button and you are going to click on your already completed math review day. Do you see where it's completed? And you're on the side, you're going to have a select all for all the questions or just some of the questions. Let's say your students couldn't figure out three or four of those questions. I would click those again, import the questions, change the numbers, and um, make sure that the, they are all toggled on to required. And just add on to this. Add on to whatever other questions you would like your students to be able to figure out and do on their own. The whole point of this is to, for it to be a review, something that the students get to see on a daily basis. So if they don't get it on one day, they could do it on another day. So go ahead and click Responses and select Response Destination. I want you to click Select Existing Spreadsheet because you already have one created. And once you open this, you'll be able to see Spiral Review. Click that. And automatically it will be linked. So we're going to go ahead and click the, the spread uh, sheets. And you'll see Form Response 1 from Day 1 and Form Response 2 from Day 2. And that's where the student responses will go. I love having it all in one place and I hope that you're able to enjoy it as well. Go ahead and exit out of that and you are able to assign your question, your quiz now. And I hope that this is going to help you a little bit easier for um, what's to come in this next few weeks or months potentially. Um, you can create quizzes and daily reviews ahead of time. Oh, and I just noticed that it was math review, not spiral review. So you can always go back and change it. Um, so here you go. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Um, but I do hope the best um, for you and your students and your community. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know in the comment section what else you would like to see. Stay safe and take care. Bye. Bye.